Good afternoon. Do you know what day it is? Do you know how you got here? Do you know where you are? Well, last night you were admitted into the hospital and you were not coherent. Uh, you were dropped off by somebody that said you were in an accident. And we had asked you a series of questions that you weren't able to give us correct answers to, so we admitted you for general surveillance and just trying to piece together things as they come. Do you remember last night's events or what the last event that you can recall was? Okay. Well, one of the things that we had observed when you were first admitted is that your lack of balance and your ability to stand, but immediately uh, doing some blood work on it, you weren't intoxicated, there were no chemicals in your system, nothing abnormal. Okay. Well, assuming that you were in an accident, we had put you in a neck collar, so I'm just going to have you stay as still as possible for a little while until we can narrow down the severity of what transpired. Okay. I'm going to put some gloves on here real quick. Do you remember what your last meal was? Do you remember the last time you might have used a restroom? Okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, do you feel any pain? If so, how much and where? Your head. Do you take any substances? Alcohol. Okay. How often? Okay. Any prescription drugs that you're aware of? And how often do you take those? Okay. Do you take a last dose? a little bit more now that you're awake. Do you have any allergies that we should be aware of? Latex, penicillin, anything like that? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to have you try to sit as still as you can until we can narrow down any kind of neurological damage. This hurts right here on your ear. Okay, what about on this side? Okay. When you were admitted, you were very agitated and you wouldn't let anyone come near you. So with your permission, can I get a little bit closer to you, examine your ears, see if you have any discharge coming out of your ears, any blood? Okay, thank you. blood that's coming out. Just go ahead and look forward for me, okay? It's not focus. Okay, I'm gonna cover one eye. is much better than it was last night. <clears throat> we assume that this might be a neurological accident or at least the repercussions of it. Did you come into contact with any substance that you can recall? Okay. And one of the reasons why we have you in the neck brace is you kept reaching for your neck and we're hopeful that you didn't sustain any kind of a spinal injury, but I'm going to just do some very basic sensory tests to see whether or not your sensory is normal. Is that okay? okay? 
we're going to start at the very top here and if you had any kind of major trauma to areas like T2 or I'm sorry, C, C2 the back of your scalp might be a little bit numb how does that feel? your hair's a little bit tangled but otherwise you're okay okay, moving down to the sides here of your neck Press on your nose and kind of shift it side to side. Go. Tender, but nothing like popping out a socket or anything. Okay. You do have some debris on your face. I'm trying to. It's not dirt. You know whether or not there was any other interactions with anybody in particular, a fight, a argument, um, what's the last event you can recall? Going back a little further, say, when was the last time you had a meal? Okay. Okay. I'm gonna keep checking for sensory registering, so I'm just gonna press here on the sides of your neck and I'm gonna shift kind of back and shoulders. Any numbness? Okay. Your chest area. Okay. I'm going to press on your stomach a little bit here. And when I press inward like this, do you feel any kind of restrictions breathing? where your bladder is and tell me if you feel the urge to urinate. No? Okay. Right. Testing for other parts of your sensory. If you have anterior cord damage, uh, a lot of the times you might not be able to differentiate between something that has a cool texture and something that's warm. So I'm going to take just a basic tool here, touch various points of your face, and tell me if you can sense that it is a cool object, okay? okay. Is it the same on each side? I'm going to reach behind the neck here, and I'm going to place this on the back of your scalp. Okay. So you can tell that it's cool. Moving down here to your neck. Your shirt here. We can take a look at your tummy. I'm going to do the same thing, okay? okay. And on the other side. So your sensory so far is good. I'm going to take a look at your feet. Okay. I'm going to do the same test on your feet here. First, just start. still just for a little while here. I'm going to take one of my gloves off and my hand is going to be warm. So we're going to do this test again to make sure that you can feel the sensation of warmth. Okay. 
Place my hand on the top of your foot here. You can? Good, good. What about this one? On your tummy again here. I'm gonna lift up your shirt a little bit. It's good to see that. And now precision, precision, sensation. I'm going to take a tongue depressor and break it in half. So there's going to be a little pointy edge, and you're going to be able to feel. It's not going to be very comfortable, but you're still going to recognize that it's going to be much different than that, correct? Pointy? Okay. Why don't you close your eyes for me and tell me which one you feel, okay? On your chest here. Can you register that I'm tapping you here? Okay. Okay. What about here? Okay. So it's bilateral. Okay. If I want to pinch your skin, this can just have a little bit different of a sensation. What about this? It's numb. Higher. It's distinctly different right here than right here. What about pressure? You can feel the pressure though. Okay. Going back to the instrument here, we're going to test. This is cool to the touch. It's different than say here. Okay. Well, nothing to be concerned of just yet. We don't know what happened to you. This could pass. It could just be a matter of inflammation. Let me just make a note of that here, real quickly. Okay. So, do you have any idea when your last meal was? When the last time you would have injected any or ingested? I'm sorry or injected, uh, any water, juice, alcohol, anything like that? Okay. Do you know whether or not you would use a restroom after that, or had any bowel movement? Okay. It's just something that we want to monitor, and that way if you have, say, liquid being retained in your bladder, we would want to make sure that we put a catheter in you until we can figure out for certain what's going on. Okay. I'm going to do a couple of quick cranial tests for anything might be more brain related. So I'm going to take a quick look at your eyes and look at your dilation. looks good. So I don't think that's... Can you open up your mouth? 
stick your tongue up to the roof. One side. or anyone that you want us to try to get into connection with? Any family members, any friends, co-workers, anything like that? All right, all right, no rush. We'll just take it one step at a time here. Okay, so I want you to look straight at my face here. I want you to tell me which of my fingers here wiggles, okay? I want you to stay focused on the center of my face, and as soon as you start to see one of my hands move outward, look at that hand and follow it, okay? both of my hands very close to your ears and I'm just going to very slightly wiggle them so that you'll hear that the latex on the gloves moves. I want you to tell me which one it is or which side you hear it on first, okay? Okay. As I pull up on your eyebrows, try to close, pull them down. Okay. Okay. Vice versa. I want you to raise your eyebrows. I'm going to try to push them down. Hold them really tight. I'm going to try to open them. Okay. Very good. And then vice versa. Hold them open. Don't let me close them, okay? I won't press too hard. Okay. That's good. I'm going to place my hands on your chest here. With your permission. I want you to breathe in. And I'm going to push a little bit. But I want to make sure that you're able to expand your lungs. Okay? And take a deep breath in for me. a little resistance there. Okay. Do you feel the urge to cough at all? Okay. I'm going to palpate the glands on your neck here. Does any of this hurt? feel a little bit uncomfortable, but I'm going to place my hands on your trachea. Just shift it side to side here, okay? And let me know if this causes you any urge to cough, sneeze, itch. Okay, I'm going to apply a little bit more pressure here. Any severe discomfort? Okay. I'm going to run my hands along the top and the back scalp and tell me if you feel anything that kind of has a sensation that a bruise would, okay?
I'm do a little bit here. Okay, I'm gonna just palpate that area a little bit and tell me if we can pinpoint the spot. rather firmly. I want you to let me know if this alters your vision or your focus. If there's any excessive pain. Okay, now that's good. I'm going to shift your nose around here. Side of your nose, if that's all right. I don't see any kind of blood residue or anything like that. I think. Okay, it's just not the mucous membrane. Okay. So it doesn't look like you received any major head trauma. Maybe a bruise on the back of the head, but I think it's a superficial wound. Um, the concern with the numbness from about the chest level down would have me a little bit concerned. That's why if you can recall the events, it would be immensely helpful to know how to treat this a little bit further. Okay, you can't, you can't make up what's not there. It's okay. It's understandable. If you can't, you can't. It'll come back. Okay. I'm gonna have you tilt your head back just a little bit, and then I'm gonna put my hand underneath your chin. I you to resist. I'm going to push up. I want you to push down, okay? okay? Good job. Vice versa. I'm going to put my hand on the top of your head. Push up. Okay. Any discomfort? Okay. I'm going to keep your neck fairly immobile right now. We'll get to those tests a little bit later. Difficulty breathing. Okay, so you feel like something's very tight around your stomach. Okay, I just want you to breathe normally for me. I'm gonna take a listen. down. And is it uncomfortable at all right in here? On your side. Take a deep breath in for me. time for me, okay? Can reach around to your back. Just breathe normally for me a minute. Do you mind giving me a small cough? Deep breath in. Hold it. Okay, and let it go. 
another big breath for me and hold. Look up. Just breathe normally for me for a moment. Give me a little cough. <laughs> Doesn't have to be a big one. Okay. Deep breath in and hold. Big breath for me and hold. Okay, go ahead and let it go. Just breathe normally for me. I'm going to listen to your heart rate. your left arm here just so I can get under to the side. All right, thank you. Can you feel me pressing on your side here? Okay, that's good. Can you tell if the stethoscope is cold? What about the other side right here? You can? Okay, that's good. And the lower chamber. listen to your belly a little bit more. I'm trying to figure out approximately when the last time that you may have eaten, as well as any kind of indigestion or stomach upset, okay? You don't have to make any efforts to breathe, just breathe normally. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to press in the center of your tummy here. Does this hurt? Okay. If I press here. On the side here. making some sounds, and that's very normal. That's what we want to hear. Things are moving. So that is always good. I'm going to reach around to your sides here. I'm going to palpate the back, lower back, feeling your kidneys. Any kind of unusual pain, spikes in pain, let me know. Okay. discomfort. Okay. But nothing out of the ordinary. You do feel the urge that you have to pee? Okay, no, that's good. Well, on some bright notes, there doesn't seem to be any major obvious problems with your digestion. The fact that you can feel the urge that you might need to urinate. Your chest sounds good, your heart sounds good. And for the most part, you have pretty good perception of sensation. So these areas right here where there are numbness, that could be anything from a dietary 
um, substance that you ingested, so I wouldn't be immediately concerned, but I'd like to put you on some anti-inflammatories, um, maybe get you some fluids, put you on some steroids, bring the inflammation down, and then we can continue to do some additional tests with your cranial nerves, make sure that this is not cranial neurological, or if it has more to do with the, uh, interior nerves outside of the spinal cord. Okay. I'm going to grab some things real quick and I'm going to give you a little bit of an injection. Are you okay to sit tight for a little bit? Okay. Just a moment. Okay. It's going to take... Do you mind holding out your arm here? Do you have any side that you prefer receiving injections on? No? It's not fun either way. I'm just going to give you some steroids at first. Do you know whether or not you have any kind of negative reaction to steroids? Have you ever received steroids in the past? No. Yeah, sometimes steroids can be issued for, like, sciatica pain, for neurological pain. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wrap this around your arm here real quick. Make a fist for me. dose and we'll observe you over the next 12 hours and then if we need to give you a little bit more. Okay. Gonna feel a slight pinch. Sorry. Okay, this is gonna be very cold. for some tests about 12, maybe 16 hours from now, and then we can monitor your brain activity just to make sure that if this is neurological, if we need to be more precautious about what's going on up top, or if it's something that's more physical with the spinal cord, and that way we can give you the proper treatments for it. Right now, as protocol, we're going to treat this as a spinal injury, or at least inflammation of the spinal cord, so that we can reduce the inflammation. Hopefully that sensation will come back. And then we can do some more further testing. Okay. In the meantime, is there anything that I can get for you? Any kind of food? Um, I'm going to have one of the assistants come in and I'd like you to stay as immobile as possible. So we can put a catheter in and that way, if you need to use the restroom, we can take care of that. Yeah, they're never fun. Never. <laughs> okay. But it's necessary, I think, that you stay as immobile as possible. If there is trauma to the spinal cord movement, especially when you're off balance, the risk of falling is not worth it. Okay. Would you like any food? Would you like any teas, drinks, anything like that? Music, entertainment? Another pillow? Of course we can get that. Are you cold? You want the heat up a little bit? Okay. Well... I will be back to check on you in a couple of hours, and I will get those tests scheduled so that the next time we meet, hopefully, we'll have a little bit more answers for you. Okay. In the meantime, try to rest. Try to stay as still as you can, as far as comfortable you can get. <laughs> okay. I'll see you in a little bit then.